Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Talk Time with Pastor Krista. So today, I am out in my backyard in our grove. And our grove is where we have our bonfire pit. And that's a pretty important place at our house because a lot of fun happens out here. Kathleen and Michael often bring their friends out here and they sit on these stones and they have a bonfire. And during this time when we've had to socially distance from each other, Michael and his three best friends spend a whole lot of time out here at night over the summer because we have rocks around our bonfire and they're all about six feet apart. And so they could sit and they could laugh and enjoy each other's company and still be safe. But guess what? They did that probably four nights a week and we ran out of wood. So in the past two weekends, we've worked really hard to cut down some trees on our land that were dead and we chopped them all up and then we brought them all back here and we stacked them on both sides of me. And you can see this stack is taller than me and I'm a pretty tall pastor. So we have enough wood for any fires we might have this fall, but I'm almost certain we've got enough wood for summer because storing things is really important because you want to be prepared. So I am going to share some scripture with you about storing things and we're going to see what Jesus says about storing, what God says about storing a few things. And this is taken from the book of Matthew and it's taken from Matthew 6 verse 20 and this is what it says. But store up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in or steal. So store up for yourself treasures in heaven, but not on earth. Because if I store things on earth, like this wood is stored, eventually, guess what? It's going to be gone and there's going to be an empty space between these two trees and an empty space between those two trees. And Jesus tells us that storing things on earth, it doesn't make a difference because you can't take it with you when you go. So what can you take with you? Well, what can you leave behind? You can leave behind everything you store in your heart. Everything that's stored in there, all those good memories of times with people you loved, that's the kind of thing we want to store up. We want to store up things that mean that we did something maybe good for somebody. So when we lay our head down on our pillow at night, we can close our eyes and know that everything that we have stored up in our heart brings us joy and brings us peace. So when you do a good deed for another person or when you offer someone a kindness, when they're maybe having a bad day, those are the kind of treasures that God wants you to save in your heart because the more treasures like that you have in your heart, the bigger your heart grows and the more you're going to be able to give to other people. And that's really important too. So maybe next year, if we're still doing talk times in the summer, I'll do another talk time from here and you'll see how my wood piles are almost gone because what we store on earth oftentimes gets used up. So as you walk through your week, what I want you to do is store up some really good things. You've got a whole week ahead of you because it's only Tuesday morning. So I want you today to do something really nice for somebody. And you know what is best when you do something nice for somebody and it's a secret. You don't even tell them it was you who did it. That is so much fun. Give it a try and you will see what I mean. So today, we are going to sing Jesus Loves Me. We haven't sung that song in quite a while, and it's important for me to know, for you to know that Jesus loves you. So here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So you have a good couple days and I'll see you again on Thursday morning. And I don't know where I'll be. If the weather's nice, maybe I'll be outside again. But you're going to have to check in to see. So you all have a good day and let's do our benediction together. My heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. God bless you and we'll see you Thursday.